In this video we'll take a look at how to revert commits and local changes in Git. So for local changes we're going to take a look at how to permanently revert those changes and also how to stash them away temporarily. We'll then move on to committed changes where we'll take a look at how to safely revert to an old commit where we'll still have access to our newer commit if we need to get back to it. And then we'll look at how to temporarily peek at an old commit. Okay, so just a brief introduction to what a commit is. So a commit is like a snapshot of a particular time in history. And as you make changes to files, you can keep track of the various revisions by making a commit. Okay, so let's start off with reverting local changes. So here I have a folder and I'm just going to create a file. And we'll just store something random here. So let's initialize git in this directory and then we'll create a commit. And so now I'm going to make a change to this file. So we haven't committed these changes yet, so they're just considered local changes. So what we're going to do will permanently remove your changes. So this is a very dangerous operation, so only run this if you know what you're doing. And I suggest you make a backup of your folder first if you're not entirely sure what's going on. So to revert to changes, we run git checkout followed by two dashes or two hyphens and then the name of the file we want to revert. So in our case this is test.txt and if we exit out of this file and reopen it you can see that the changes have been reverted. So let's just make another change and what you can also do is revert every single change in your repository. So to do that you run git checkout dash dash and then a dot and this will completely undo all changes in your repository. So once again, if we open up this file, you can see it has been reverted. Now, what if you want to temporarily revert the changes, but you want to be able to get them back afterwards? So the way you can do this is by using the git stash command. So let's go ahead and make some changes again. So to make a backup of these changes, we just run git stash. And this will also revert to the latest commit, similar to how we did git checkout dash dash before. So now if we close the file and open it up again, you can see that the changes have been reverted. However, we can now get these changes back at a later time if we want. So this is very simple to do. You just run git stash and then pop. So now if we get out of the file and go back in, our changes have been brought back. So stash is what you want to use if you just want to temporarily go back to your old files. So now we're going to move on and take a look at how to revert commits. So here I have a test.txt file with some content. And if you run git status, you can see that we have modified this file. So we're going to go ahead and commit that. And now I'm going to show you how to revert back to a previous commit. So the easiest way to do this is to create a new commit called a revert commit, which reverses the previous commit. So the way we can do that is using git revert dash dash no commit. And then we need to specify how far back we want to go. So if you just want to revert one commit, you need to do head all caps tilde one dot dot head. But you can actually change this number to be whatever you want. So if you want to go back five commits or ten commits, you can do that if you want. So now that this is done, we have to actually make a commit out of this revert. So let's commit this with the message revert changes. And if we get out of our file and go back in, you can see that we have an older revision of this file from the start of the video. If we now run git log, you can see all our commits. So our very first commit was this test commit. Then we created a new commit. And then we created a commit which reverted the changes of new commit. So this commit has the exact same files as this commit. The only difference is that this commit still includes the entire commit history. So we can get back to any point in history. If you know the idea of a specific commit that you want to revert to, you can also use git revert and then type in the hash of the commit and then dot dot head. Of course, you don't need to type in the full hash, a few characters will do. So now I'm going to show you how to temporarily peek at an older commit. So we have no local changes as seen when we run git status. And so if we run git log, you can see we have a nice history of commits. Now, if you have made any local changes, you're going to have to look at the first half of this video where I showed you how to temporarily revert local changes. And then you can come back to this part of the video. 
So if we want to peek back at an older commit, it's very simple. We just run git checkout and then followed by the hash of the commit. So we'll paste that. And before we do that, we'll look at the contents of the file. So we'll run this command. And now we can open back up the file. And as you can see, we're now at a different commit. So now if you run git log, you can see that all the commits above it are gone. And if we want to jump back to those commits, you can just once again use git checkout followed by the name or, or the ID of that commit. And if you don't remember that ID, don't worry, all you have to do is type in the branch name. So in my case, that is master. And if your branch has a different name, then just use that name instead. So let's once again open up our file. And as you can see, we're back to the latest commit. So that was just an overview of what you can do to revert local changes and commits. And of course, there's a lot more you could do with that, such as creating branches. So that's going to be the end of this video. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and share this video. And I will see you again in the next one.